Okay, it's time. I finally figured it out. <clears throat> so, sorry for the delay, everybody. Um, it's time for the auction, and I'm flying solo. <laughs> B left me alone with our whole setup. So I'm basically doing this tonight for by myself for right now. She's stuck in traffic like I was a couple weeks ago. So she'll get here when she does. I'm going to start off like I always do by saying hello to everybody. Oh, man. And I got to fix the lag that I've got because I have a tremendous amount of lag. See if I refresh. All right, let's see. How long does that take? Oh man, I must have some <laughs> incredible lag. Hang on, guys. I'll get there. I'll get there. Okay, so. I'm going to start saying hi to everybody. I'm sure I lost a bunch of people off the top of the live chat, but Bassman, welcome. David Music, welcome. A member. Bassman's a member too. Gypsy Will's a member. Mike Harper, welcome. Pastor Michael, welcome. American Indian, a member, welcome. Gypsy Wolves, a member, welcome. Scott Cook, welcome. Scott and Jennifer Foster, welcome. Uh, let's see. Emile Voyer from Connecticut. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by at least. Uh, I wish I got here a little quicker. Um, let's see. Ben Kaminga. Um, yeah, the uh, Ben, if you have somebody in the U.S. that we can ship to uh, and they can forward it to you, we can do that. Um, if you're in one of the U.S. territories... We consider that the U.S., so like Hawaii and Guam and things like that, and the U.S. Virgin Islands. Um, but uh, anything outside of the U.S., um, we just have way too much trouble trying to get it shipped through our post office. So we wish we didn't, but, you know. Anyway, um, back to the hellos. Um, let's see. Scott Perry, Welcome. Michael Clemmer, welcome. Tiny Numismatics, Zoe and Laura Lala. Zoe. <clears throat> Sorry, the voice is off a little tonight. Um, let's see. Scott Cook, welcome. Amy Harrell, a member, welcome. Paul Bruni, a member, welcome. Paul Bruni, that technique with the tequila would really hurt. That would hurt more than doing it the right way. Uh, let's see. All right. So, Bassman, a member, welcome. Chuck Wilson, a member, welcome. Malcolm McLaughlin, a member, welcome. Scoop, a member, welcome. Charles Long, welcome. Chris M, welcome. Michael Clemmer, I said hi. All right. C Crazy Wing Whopper, welcome. Yeah, I figured if I put the coffee out there, if I got something working, you guys would at least know there's life. Um... Chris M, welcome. Laura Lala, welcome. Robin Foster, welcome. Whoa, computer tried to slide on me there. Um, Amy Wallacher, welcome. Pat Scott, welcome. Strife 2009, welcome. Whoa, and it jumped finally the other way. So now I gotta go back up here. Find my spot that I got thrown out here. There it is, I think. Southern Boy, welcome. Opus Singer, welcome. Chris M., welcome. Ken Williams from Seattle, welcome. Greg Welch, welcome. David G., welcome. Sharif, welcome. Robin Johnson, welcome. Jennifer Bell, welcome. Nathan Harder, member, welcome. Mary Floyd, welcome. John Montgomery, welcome. George Foreman, a member, welcome. Nicole Alonzo Lehman, welcome. Robert Spencer from Texas, welcome. JCDC, a member, welcome. The boy who loves the girl who loves chickens, a.k.a. the DRC. 
a member. Welcome. It takes like a whole breath just to say that one. Amanda Walls, welcome. If I repeat somebody, I apologize. If I miss somebody, I apologize. John Payne, welcome. David Patrick, welcome. Numismatico Eclectico, welcome. And it took the opportunity to jump on me. Uh, there it is. Okay, that should be good right there. Um, Phil Bonner, welcome. Sea Weave, a member, welcome. Amy Christel from Fort Worth, all righty. Yeah, former Carswell Air Force Base. Amazing what they made out of that. Aunt Mary Cher, welcome. KW, welcome. Travis Barnes, a member, welcome. That jumped again. Gosh darn it. I'm getting close to the bottom. That's why it's jumping. Um, okay, got that. Steven Rodriguez, welcome. Kevin Taylor, welcome. Garrett C., welcome. Bill Driscoll, a member from Northern Michigan, welcome. DC Bingo, welcome. Paul Orange, a member, welcome. Thank you, Paul. Karen McKenzie, welcome. And I got caught up. Yay! <laughs> Oh, man, this is too fun. <clears throat> Robert Bruning. Whoa, Robert Bruning, welcome. Ken, the people in this stream are some of the friendliest people that you will meet anywhere on YouTube or <laughs> in life. Uh, we've got a tremendous group of people in this chat, um, and I'm talking their character, not just their knowledge. Their knowledge is also incredible in many, many, many topics. Emperor Rex, welcome. RM1 US Senate member, welcome. Diane C, welcome. Uh, yeah. So as the intro, um, I'll continue with that thought, is that, that uh, yeah, in, in this chat, we have a lot of people with a lot of knowledge and are very helpful and very friendly and we're known for that. And the reason we're known for that is because we basically only have a couple of rules. Our, our rules are very simple. We don't allow any cursing uh, while we're in the stream and we don't allow any politics and we don't allow any selling, um, you know, or price quotes or promoting other channels, things like that. You know, normal class you know, respect type things. Christelle Cime, welcome. Um, Timothy Dake, welcome. Brenda Stevenson, welcome. Thank you, Brenda. Um, and that's basically it. Other than that, you're pretty much free to do just about anything in the channel, in the chat, that, you know, as long as the moderators don't give you a warning or a timeout, and, you know, sometimes they will, um, because we're trying to keep within the lanes. But at the same time, we're trying to keep the lanes nice and wide so everybody can have a great time. We talk about coins. We talk about things we love. We talk about each other, which falls in that first, that last category too. We care about each other. We do for each other, which we would do for ourselves or prefer we would do, for, someone would do for ourselves. William Jefferson, welcome. Chris M., welcome. Joyful Diamonds, a member, welcome. Uh, excuse me. So, the rules for tonight's auction are posted below the auction, between the, below the screen, stream. The basic rules are basically right below the red area where it says auction time. Um, you need to um, pay by the end of the night. You see at the very bottom, if you look closely, it says jbcoinsinc at gmail.com. That's our PayPal account. Um, the bidding is is in one dollar increments you can't do like one dollar fifteen cents or one dollar and a half or something like that it has to be whole dollars up to a hundred if we get over a hundred on an item then it's five dollar increments and we ask that you pay five dollars on the first item that you buy 
and if you get multiple items, that five dollars is is it because that just goes towards shipping. Okay. Um, David Smith, a member, welcome. Robert Henry, a member, welcome. Chuck Wilson, a member, welcome. So we have that. The other thing is, don't bid with money that you can't afford to spend. Okay, and um, you know, remember that this is an auction. This is this tonight is to benefit the channel. It's not to benefit one of our family members, which we've done dozens of times. Um, and this is for fun and whatever we do make off of selling this stuff is to benefit the channel. Okay. So we appreciate it. Brad Carney, a member, welcome. So with that all said, first item out or first items out, <laughs> 1979 P, D, and S. Let's see if I can do this. My name's off a little bit. P, D, and S. 1979. Susan B. In Unc condition. And when we say unconditioned, everybody that knows this channel knows that B doesn't pick no junk. So, you know, she, we went through hundreds of sets again the last couple days to get some of the stuff. And we do that whenever we go looking. We don't just buy junk and throw it out there. Uh, we don't give away junk and throw it out there. Everything that we do is, you know, <laughs> be you. <laughs> Not a lot of channels that can say that. So, anyway... Opening bid for this, uh, Robert Henry, yeah, there is a comment video. It was the invite vid video for tonight's live stream. It was posted earlier today. Um, so I, I can't put the link up like B usually does. I apologize. <laughs> the other thing is we are still doing giveaways tonight, but until B gets here, I have no way. I don't know how to operate that and the, and the tower, and I don't want to screw us up on the auction. So B even told me just... Hang on to the giveaways until she gets here. So, this first item, opening bid, 15 bucks. So, let's have some fun. Good luck, everybody. I think I turned all the lights on in here. Yep. All right. Thank you, Diana. RM1 at 15. Thank you, RM1. Gray Squirrel, welcome. Bidding on a full set. Well, I've got them backwards here, it looks like. P, D, and S. There we go. Now they're in the right order. Laura Weaver Deal, a member, welcome. I didn't see Mufit come in. Um, I don't know if I see a Morgan tonight. Don't see one. Oh, yeah. Very last item. Very last item is a Morgan. Paul Orange at 20. Ken, I can't answer the question. Uh, one of the folks in the channel that's a little techier than I am can probably do that and, and explain whether or not you can do that. Thomas Buckley, a member, welcome. Scoop, what about ER? Amy Harrell, $21. I'll get my rhythm going in a second, folks. I apologize. I'm not used to driving. <laughs> I'm just used to sitting here talking. Oh, she did post the list. Okay, cool. She is so good. So Amy Harrell at 21 going once. 
Jeff Crumpler, welcome. Oh, they ruled out the shingles? <laughs> Great. That's good. Amy Harrell at 21. Going twice. Jeff Co. Trading, welcome. Jonathan Dusty, 33. Big jump. Welcome, Jonathan. For those that just came in, haven't been to our auction, it's whatever you bid plus $5 for the first item for shipping. $5 covers you the whole night, no matter how many items you get. Um, lots, I mean. Um, $1 increments up to 105 after that, and you're expected to pay before the stream is over. Otherwise, we will re-auction the item. Susie Rosito, Rosito, Rosito welcome. <clears throat> so... Jonathan Dusty, 33. Dathan Jenkins, welcome. Amy's out. So Jonathan Dusty, $33. Going once. Jonathan Dusty, $33, going twice. Robert A., welcome. Jonathan, Jonathan Dusty, $33, third and final call. Sold to Jonathan Dusty. $33 plus five for the first item. $38. Bucks. Thank you, sir. Gonna like these. Okay. Charles Long, welcome. <clears throat> yes, there's a list. It's below the stream. Below the, the screen on the stream. Um, let's see. Yeah, you guys got to keep up with your lag because Paul just called out and we had already, I had already called sold. So Bassman just marked sold. Um... We talked about this a little bit the other night about trying to figure out how to solve that problem. Cinderella, welcome. <clears throat> Especially running solo tonight. Um, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do is until, until sold is on the screen, um, the bids are considered live as long as it's not like crazy long, you know, I'll say sold, but uh, I think you get the drift. Mercury time. These are more Mercs from that AU roll that we did the video on. And I got a back truck up here. All righty. So 37, 43. Those are Phillies. A 43S. A 45D, oops, got to switch that around, 43S, 44S, and a 45D. So they're not sequential, but these are all AU Mercury's out of that roll. $20 starting bid. Utah Scott, welcome. Tiny Numismatics at 20. I figured you weren't putting that up there as a uh, 
posting somebody else's bid there, Tiny. RM122. Amy comes in 21, but RM's at 22. Death, Dathan Jenkins, welcome. $40 from Dathan. Jumps over Tiny, jumps over Marion. Mar Marion, welcome. So Dathan Jenkins, 40 bucks. Nathan Jenkins, $40. Siervo Carlos, welcome. <clears throat> Remember, we will check at the end of the stream before we uh, go off the air to make sure whether or not items are paid for. If they're not, we'll rebid them. Um, Dathan Jenkins, $40 going once. JC likes Pam, $41. I can actually pull them this way a little bit. Maybe they'll focus a little better. $41, JC likes Pam. JC likes Pam at 41 going once. Next coins, welcome. I'm sorry, I missed you. 42 to Dathan. Cinderella at 43. JC likes Pam was also at 43, but Cinderella got there first. Uh, Travis, we're running like bare bones today because um, I'm driving, flying, whatever by myself. Be stuck in traffic. So until she gets here, this is how it is. JC likes, no, Cinderella has 43. Okay, Cinderella at 43. John Copper, welcome. Okay, I'm going to do the Zoe fix on my... on my screen. Eternal for you, a member, welcome. Yay, you're back from your soldier, shoulder surgery. That's good. Uh, so far, Eternal, it's just J. B is stuck in traffic. So I'm flying solo. Not the first time I've flown solo, but on one of these, it is Cinderella 45. Cinderella, Cinderella. Anthony Ramos, welcome. <clears throat> Cinderella's at 45. Freaking awesome. A member, welcome. Cinderella at 45 going once. Thanks, Eternal. Oh, man. Strife. Yeah, I had to make it myself in a, in a hurry, and I made it a little too blonde. 
It's a little on the weak side. Brad Kearney, 46. Thank you, Brad. Joe 99, welcome. Jessica Keller, welcome. Five thirteen, Stephen, welcome. Brad Carney, forty six, going once. I'm guessing that's double zero. Welcome. Scratch off gal, welcome. Amy Day, welcome. Brad Kearney, 46, going twice. MLS, welcome. Josette, welcome. Brad Kearney, 46, for the third and final time. Sold to Brad Kearney, 46. So 51 for the first item. Thank you very much. All right, and the sold sign came up right away. Thank you, Tiny. All righty. Next item is a 1962 proof set in the original packaging. Let me see where I'm at on the screen here. I'll have to adjust this, but you can see it's got a light spot there. Same on this side, but silver, 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 blazing red, 62 penny and a very crisply struck 62 over here on the nickel and may well that's a proof set never mind um okay so 62 proof set whoa <laughs> sorry guys um Second, guys. Victor, welcome. All right. So for the folks that came in late, just while I'm waiting here and trying to catch up, um, the basic rules are right below where it says auction time, or the right below the red. The full rules are down below the stream, and um, it's one dollar increments up to a hundred, and five dollar increments after that. Um, the mods will explain a lot of stuff, um, but I'm flying solo tonight. I'm used to having my sweetie with me. I'm Jay. B is on the road. Um, so hopefully she'll be here soon. Um. V Rose, a member, welcome. Excuse me. Alrighty, so 
Um, now that I'm caught up, $65 is a starting bid for the 62 proof set. You've got 390 silvers. I mean, what can you say? It's a 62 proof set. Um, Heather's Chubby Hubby and member welcome. Yeah, Nick, I know. I'm distracted, too. <laughs> uh, 65 is the starting bid for um, the 62 proof set. Um, yeah, Chris, <laughs> I hear that a lot, that when you hit the two to, to catch up on the lag, that I sound like a munchkin or a chipmunk or something like that. Um, Oh, did we get a bid in there? I didn't see it. Take your word for it. Okay, Dathan, $70. Chris M., welcome. Heather's Chubby Hubby, welcome. Yeah, it's J without the B right now. Right, right now. Um, a couple weeks ago, it was me that was stuck in traffic. Tonight, it's her that's stuck in traffic. Tom Barton, a member, welcome. Okay, so um, $70. Dathan Jenkins, $70. Okay, going once. Man, that's cheap. Dathan Jenkins, $70 for a 62 proof set. Jimmy Thornton, welcome. Lucky Duck, a member, welcome. 1962 proof set, Dathan Jenkins, $70, going twice. Robert Thompson, welcome. It's a 62 proof set. Benji, uh... Diamond quarter are all 90 percenters. Uh, the penny is a bright red. Christina Lewis, welcome. NC Prospectors, welcome. KW71. Dathan, if it's double what they go for, why did you bid that number? You know, I mean, we went through probably a hundred of these before we picked that one. That's part of the reason why people here do what they do, because they know that they're not getting junk. They know that we've gone to the trouble of cherry picking everything we can find. And some of our personal collection, too. Paul Orange at 75. Thank you, Paul. As I said at the beginning, and I'll say it if I if I have to as many times tonight, please don't bid with money that you can't afford. And um, if you see something that you like, or as Dathan says, he needs it, then bid till you're comfortable, or bid till you're uncomfortable, whatever. Um, and exactly, it's fun. It's fun. It's supporting the channel. You're having a good time, and you know that we've already done the hard work of finding a good one, not one on eBay, which is you know, risky at best. It could be from China, you know. Um, we know these are not fakes. So Robert Thompson, 76. Six more, uh, five more likes to 100. Uh, the giveaways, we are still having them, but until B gets here to be able to drive the giveaway machine, um, we're just going to keep track of how many giveaways, you know, we are behind, and when we get here, then we'll get caught up on them. 
Dathan Jenkins, 77. Leanne, a member. Welcome. Yay. <coughs> Robert, 78. Paul Orange, 80. CD, welcome. Robert, 85. Yeah, we just jumped to 105 on mine. On the uh, likes, not the price. <laughs> Robert is at 78. No, Robert's at 85, excuse me. Robert's in the price, or in the, in the lead for, with $85. Yeah, Greg, surprise, huh? There's fake everything out there. Um, you know, you want to buy a 1909 SVDB for $1,000 in in mint state 70 condition? Um, yeah, you can find one of those. It's not going to re be real, but they're out there. KW is at 86 Joe 99, yes I do. My sweetie got me one for a present a while back. Marion Kramer, welcome. To be entered in the like buttons, you have to check out the video that announced tonight's uh, live stream, you know, the intro, and watch it. And I ask a question at the end, and then you just leave a comment down below that in the comment section and that gets you qualified for all the giveaways paul orange at 90. <clears throat> paul orange at 90 going once robert thompson 91. yeah I me mean, that doesn't surprise me Robert at 91. What amazes me is how many American companies have offshored to China to save money and don't realize that in a couple of years, their competition from China is going to be using their own blueprints that they gave to their partners in China, who are not really their partners, they're their competition. And then they wonder why they can't compete anymore. Uh, this is a 1962 proof set. And we are at 95 from KW. And I keep hitting my Zoe fix because <laughs> I'm really worried about the lag. Yeah, I had some. Okay, 95 to Robert. No, excuse me, KW. 95 to KW. Going once. Thank you, best man. Ninety five to KW going twice. Joe, I got no idea. I mean, I think one of the lots so far tonight was like twelve bucks or fifteen bucks, something like that. I'm not sure what uh, B has in the rest of this as far as you know, lowest price. 95 to KW, third and final time. Sold to KW, $95.
George Bellamy, welcome. Thank you, KW. Yeah, the list of items. Paul, the Zoe fix is if you're on a computer, um, if you hover over the lower right corner of your of the auction screen, you'll see the, the white gear comes up. You hover over the white gear and click it, and it'll pop up a screen that says playback speed. You click on that, and you scroll down to two and hit that, and it doubles it doubles the speed until it catches up all the lag. That's the Zoe fix. She came up with it, so we just call it that. 11-year-old kid figures that out. I figure I'm giving her credit. Karen Lee, welcome. Eisen, welcome. Trevor, welcome. All right. Here comes the first. Uh, as uh, I don't know how many of you guys watch Kramer on uh, TV, <laughs> the investment guy, but he has a thing called the House of Pain. Uh, this is the first House of Pain item. <laughs> you guys will know instantly when I put it on the table. Uh, it's actually a two-coin set. Bicentennial. That's the uncirculated Denver. And that would be the S decam proof. You wouldn't have to know anybody that likes bicentennial stuff would you because b loaded this thing up with bicentennial stuff so asking price on this is 32 dollars oh man rick golfman welcome nathan harder comes in at 32 Thank you, Nathan. Red Devil, welcome. A member, long time no see. Yep, Jim Cramer, CNBC. And you can, you know what I found out is you can catch him on YouTube. They're breaking up his, his TV show into segments. And so the segments between the commercials, basically, they're putting on YouTube every day. So it's kind of cool because you can scroll down and see what you actually want to see. And you can watch it as many times as you want until you get it. Amy Harrell at 37. Brad at 40. Charles Long, welcome. There's a couple of folks here that uh, 76 is their birthday. Brad at 40. Uh, yeah, these are both silver. This is the uncirculated, and this is the this is the uncirculated D, and that is the proof finish uh, S. Excuse me, Amy Harrell, forty three. Tony E, welcome. Chuck, forty four. Brad, fifty. Yeah, we're zoomed in all the way. Edison Kelly, welcome. No partial dollar figures. Got to be whole dollars. Oh, it did go in. I'll be darned. I forgot to look at the other screen. <laughs> yeah, Chuck. I almost, I almost, I've got the official JB Coins coffee mug here, but I almost broke out the Black Rifle coffee mug, which is about that big. Because <laughs> I figured I'd have more time, but that, that would be, I mean, it'd be good for them, but um, <laughs> we should advertise our own. Robert Thompson, $60. Amy Harrell, 67 Amy Harrell at $67. 
76. What a weird and wonderful year. <laughs> you can't bid so you'll stack. Okay. Robert Thompson, 70 bucks. In 76, I was in boot camp. <laughs> Paul Orange, 75. Edison Kelly, welcome. I might have said hi already. Nathan Harder, 76. That's an appropriate bid. Nathan Harder, 76. Amy, 77. Yeah, there's no way that cup's making it till B gets back. <laughs> you should see the pot of coffee I made, too. I could refill that giant black rifle mug about twice. Paul Orange, 90. Charles Long, no, sir. I was a sailor. Aviation, uh, aviation department. Uh, worked as an engine mech, jets and recip, and also flew as air crew, crash crew, ground crew, pretty much anything. Refueling, check pilot, all kinds of fun stuff. Paul Orange, ninety dollar. Paul in seventy six, uh, yeah, half and half. The first half, maybe not. The last half, I was in boot camp. So, <laughs> yeah, Nathan done it. JC likes Pam. Yeah, it was a good year to be in boot camp. Ten weeks for me. I don't remember. It kept changing. After Vietnam, it kept changing. It would get longer and shorter depending on if we were considered at war or not. Paul Orange at 90 going once. Paul Orange at 90 going twice. They took the Air Force medal down. I know people that were waiting for it the first time. Paul Orange, $90. Third and final call. Sold to Paul Orange for 90 Thank you, Paul. All right, so I got to get up for the first time real quick and reload. So, it's not too bad. Alrighty. Got to zoom out. 
Let's Nineteen eighty six prestige set. We've had a few of these. Come on. So Statue of Liberty dollar coin, silver dollar coin on the top, nineteen eighty six S. Ellis Island Gateway to America in God We Trust. And the S is underneath. There's the other S, 1986 Liberty. We give that one away a lot. Here's the 86 S half dollar. There's the Ellis Island side of it. Look at the reverse on this quarter. Oh my gosh. And same thing on the nickel. And this is the reverse of the silver dollar. So gorgeous coins all. And they even have the little cardboard protectors from the mint still in them. Did I put that in the right place? Yeah. Alrighty. Starting bid on this is $48. Can't answer on the number on the the. No, that should be nine uh, eighteen forty two. Half time, uh, half time, not nineteen forty two. Only reason why I could answer that is because it's on the table. Um. Let's see, Chuck Wilson fifty. Michael Clemmer, 52. Nathan Harder, 55. Yeah, I didn't get to watch the video. I saw the, the image of the guitar, but I didn't get to, to watch the video. Robert Thompson, 69. Big jump. I'm thinking Robert wants it bad. Chris, if it's a real rainbow, it's a good thing. Robert Thompson, 69. Eternal for you, yeah. Put your uh, if you send us an email, make sure that we that we have you know the name that we're used to seeing, so we know who it is. Nathan Harder, seventy dollars. Robert Thompson comes back with seventy two. Robert Thompson, that's the only silver in this set, okay? It's a silver dollar. The rest of them are clad. They're all decams. Paul Orange, 75. Paul Orange at 75, going once.
Paul Orange at 75 going twice. Dathan, no worries. Take shelter if you have to. We had one of those last night, I think it was, or night before, I'm not sure. And uh, it was night before, I think. And it was, it was hairy. Um, Paul Orange, third and final call at $90. Paul, why are you not bidding yourself? <laughs> Wait a minute. Paul's at 75. I thought Paul was at 90. Wait a minute. Where? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, 75. Okay, sorry. Paul Orange is at 75. Uh, Greg, that would be... It's a different set. Well, there's a couple of them that have that, but uh, I'll point it out when we get to them. Um, all right, so Paul is at 75, third and final call. It happens here, Rick, as you know. Uh, Paul at third and final call, 75. Sold to Paul for $75. Thank you, Paul. Okay, so number six, another visit to the House of Pain. <laughs> Let's see how she's got this set up here. Glad I looked. Okay. Yep. Hang on. Okie dokie. I may have to back the camera up if I have to, but. So, this is the first one. It's a 76 Philly Type 1. 76 Philly Type 2. Seventy six Denver Type One, seventy six Denver Type Two. Oops, sorry about that. Seventy six S Proof. DKM type one and seventy six S proof DKM type two. So that's the full set right there. Eighty dollars starting bid. Karen McKenzie, $85. Thank you, Karen. Uh, Paul, so far, I do not. Um, I don't have Pete out. Um, I can swivel around here and, and take a peek. Karen at $85. Hundred and seventy, Paul. Hundred 
Chuck Wilson, $95. Charles, the short version is on the reverse. The type of lettering is different. There's a much bolder, thicker lettering than the type 2. There's some other identifiers, but that's what a lot of people look at as they look at the word states, especially, and see how thick the letters are. Ken Williams, $100. Chuck Wilson, 105 Paul Orange, 120. Chris M, you're welcome. Paul Orange, $120 for the full set of Type 1, Type 2 Bicentennial Ikes. Yeah, we know you're good for it, Paul. Um, like I said, I think it was $170 so far. $120 to Paul going once. Um, yeah, I think so. I'm not positive. B put these together as always. Yeah, these are all clads, I think. Yep. Nathan Harder, one twenty five. See, it won't focus now because I got all the other stuff on the bottom. Oh, well, it was worth a try. <laughs> Nathan Harder, 125. Time to do the Zoe adjustment there. You like Ike's? <laughs> Nathan Harder, 125 going once. Nathan Harder, 125, going twice. <laughs> I can't remember, Tiny. Uh, Heather, Ike doesn't cause fights. He ends them. <laughs> um, 
Nathan Harder, third and final time, 125 for all those Ikes. Sold to Nathan. Nathan Harder, 125. Sorry, Tiny, I know it's got to be kind of painful watching all these bicentennials go by. <laughs> I've got... Oh, man. Mm. I'm watching some of this stuff like this go out, and it's like, oh, my gosh. 1928A. Large number, silver certificate, blue seal, blue letters... Funny back. Crisp condition. Starting bid thirty five dollar. All right, Nick, you take care, have fun, stay safe. We'll see you next week. Yeah, Tiny, I know you do. I do too, as you know. Let's see, Rick Golfman, 45. Nineteen twenty eight A Alpha Robert Thompson at fifty Travis said it's a 1928A. Large letter, silver certificate, blue seal, funny back. Silver certificate. So what do we got here? Robert Thompson, $50. I don't know why I'm saying it that way. I think maybe because I, I hear it that way at the auctions all the time. Yeah, that's in crisp shape. Robert Thompson, $50 going once. Uh, Ken Williams, 55 Yeah, Travis, that's why they call it the funny back, because that's it's such a cool-looking back. But for them, it looked funny because it wasn't a regular green back. Um... Not sure if we have another funny back. I don't see one on the list. 
this one she had marked as a funny as a funny back, but I could be wrong. Fifty-seven, Chuck Wilson. Fifty-eight, Robert Thompson. Elka Martin, welcome. Ken at sixty dollars. Robert at sixty five. Gippy White, welcome. Ken Williams, 70. You know, Gippy, that might just be the thing. We're just having too much fun on this channel, and some folks just don't understand that. <laughs> Ken Williams, Paul Orange, 85. Um, Travis, every once in a while. Robert Thompson, 100. Gippy, yeah, you missed the Mercury Dimes. They were the second ones out. Um, I don't see any other ones on the list tonight. Robert Thompson, $100. Paul Orange, 120. Eternal for you? Yeah, the second lot was Mercury Dimes. We're on lot number seven right now. Sorry. We got more cool stuff coming. Paul Orange at 120. Paul Orange at 120 going once. Kenneth Preston, a member. Welcome. <laughs> Paul Orange, 120, going twice. Paul Orange, $120, third and final call. Six. 
sold. Paul Orange, $120. Thank you, Paul. Alrighty. Here's that funny 1942 half dime. <laughs> it's an 1842 half dime, and I wish I could get the camera to show you the detail on this. It's going to be impossible because of the plastic. Um, but this is an 1842 half dime, and you can see it just looks black on here. The, you're going to just have to take my word for it that the detail on this thing is just incredible. You can see all the dental. You can see the date clearly. You can see all the stars. Um, you can see her hair. You can see that she's holding something in her hands, which with my vision I can't make out. And then there it says half dime. And it says United States of America. And then it's got the, the wreaths. So, whoops, wrong way. Alrighty. $16, start and bid. Yeah, I'm beginning to worry, uh, Robert. She went out all dressed up, had the heels on and everything. God, she looked amazing. <laughs> Incredible. $20 from Tiny. Thank you, Tiny. Edison, that's what you do. If you feel you're comfortable, bid. If you don't, then don't. It's just, you know, it's all about having fun, you know. Um, <laughs> and there he comes in with a bid. Ken Williams, 25. Jumped through several bids to get there. Edison at 27. Ken at 30. I'll try. I don't know if it'll if it'll uh, show any detail on this thing because it's in the plastic and it's really dark. Yeah, you can kind of see some of the detail there through the plastic. Thirty six to Edison. No, Nathan, more like she would be at the opera with, uh, you know, uh, either a pina colada or uh, what do they call those drinks? Uh, Cosmopolitans or whatever that were popular. Brad Carney at 50. Justin Simmons, welcome. Robert Thompson at 55. Let's see if zooming in helps. A little bit. Karen at 57. Ken at 60. It's funny how down here with the zoom coming down it's so much clearer than trying to hold it up there with the autofocus Ch uh ken williams at 60. brad at 65. ken at 80. Uh-oh, that's not good, Justin. Karen at 85. Uh, Philadelphia, I believe. She didn't put a mint mark on there. Get the magnifier 
out here. Uh, she's holding a flag. Yeah, I don't see a mint mark. So it's Philly. Ken at 100. Eternal for you? Yes, that's an 1842 uh, seated Liberty Half Dime Philadelphia Mint. Karen, 105. Ken, 110. Karen, 115. Malcolm, I'm not sure. Um, let me take a look. On these old ones, B and I both um, aren't entirely sure on the grading system because they change when they get older. This one has a couple of marks on it. But on the older coins, we've seen some of them beat to snot. I mean, everything is everything is crisply struck on here. Um, she's a little faint on the head, but everything else appears to be pretty crisp. Um, get it back in the camera focus. So I don't know if she would make a U or not. But again, they grade them differently uh, at that age, you know. Ken Williams, 150. You know, in some of the older coins like this, I know I've seen things like XF30, and they're, you know, it's ridiculous money. So, oh, you guys are back to that again? Yippee. Chuck Wilson, 160. Ah, okay. Chuck Wilson at 160. Yeah, Malcolm, it's it B and I both look at some of these old ones and we're like, eh, you know, I don't know. And then we look at you know, like I said, like an XF40, and it's got like, you know, hash marks all over it, and they give it like an XF40, and the thing goes for a couple of grand, and you're like, am I looking at this the wrong way? <laughs> all right, Tiny, sweet dreams, man. I don't know if Laura and Zoe are, is going there, too. Uh, it sounds like you are going by yourself. Uh, oh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> Nah, if you guys are all going, sweet dreams, everybody. Night, Zoe. Zoe. I can't do it tonight for some reason. Uh, Chuck Wilson, 160, going once. And we love you all, Tiny, too. You know, Eternal, I didn't think of that. Yeah, it's 20 years shy of 200 years old, and it's probably in better shape than some of the zinc pennies. Oh, my gosh. Let's see. Uh, Chuck Wilson, 160, going twice.
Um, Brad, we don't have uh, a USB scope. We probably really should get one. Um, we've got the AM scope, but uh, we had one, and then somebody got their panties in a bunch and, and asked for it back. So <laughs> we gave it to them back. Um, yeah, most of the three-year-old zincs look worse than this. It's probably in better shape than you or me, Donald. Welcome. I love this group. You guys are you guys are a hoot, man. Ken Williams, one sixty-five. I can try to very carefully pick it up and see if it'll improve. Yeah, see, that's what I was thinking. Is it might make it worse because it it has autofocus on the camera, and it's this plastic. It's not comfortable doing that. There we go. Hold the plastic tight and you can actually see it. Okay, so where did I leave it here? Ken at 165. Going once. Yeah, the lag is amazing. I, I do the Zoe fix probably three, four times each batch, you know, each lot, and it's it just cracks me up how much it, it's behind. Oh, that's appropriate, Justin. Ken Williams, 165, going twice. Third and final call for Ken Williams at 165 on the 1842 half dime. Donald Carter, 170. Yeah, I know, Brad. Um, man, it's in one of the really good flips, too. I was thinking about popping it out of there, but. And it's. I'm trying to do this, like, twist it around my, <laughs> behind my back here to look at the big monitor. Okay, there she is. I think that's the best view of the reverse without the glare. I probably loosened up that holder a little bit. Donald Carter, 170. Diana, I think it, I think it uh, varies. Greg, we should have a couple linked at our on our website, jbcoinsinc.com. Uh, B usually has those set up. I just haven't. Um, Anything not made in China will mess this mess up the computer. <laughs> it's funny. Donald one seventy going once. Eighteen forty two half dime. Nice. 
Not Nathan. Donald Carter, 170, going twice. Donald Carter, third and final call at 170. Sold to Donald Carter, $170. And I don't remember whether you already had an item tonight. Apologize. So I'm going to put the five on here. If you already have another item, just ignore it. Um, I gotta reset the table again. I just realized. Yeah, she is. Um, I'm really kind of. <laughs> I was kidding around that I was worried a little bit ago, but yeah, she's. Um... Gotta put these over here, and then get the rest of the new ones. Or next ones over here. Yeah, we're already halfway through the lots. Almost. Ah, Okie dokie. Friendly Travels, welcome. Karen Lee, welcome. All righty. So we've got a 1963. Oop, I got to zoom out. I'm zoomed in way too tight. Okay. 1963. Crisp $2 bill. Red seal. Red numbers. Beauteous shape. And it's Grandpa 1928 F-Series. Red seal, large lettering, U.S. note. Also in beautiful shape. And it says $55 opening bid. Texter. She has the um, the thing that um, it takes the words and and trans you know translates it. See Eddie Edison at fifty five. Terry Anders, welcome. Opus Singer, 60.
Okay. Um, if you guys want to take a time out real quick, um, hold a bit at 60. I'll call her. Okay. I'm going to go mic off. Hang on. Okay, she's in traffic, I guess. So, Paul Orange comes back at 70. Okay, she's fine. Paul Orange, 90. She's fine. She just, she just in, I guess, real hairy traffic. She's not, she wasn't really happy that I called her actually. Um, let's see, the lower $2 bill. The lower one is the 28F. That's a 28F, large number, red seal. And I might as well do it this way. There's, that's the 63. This is the 28F. So there's the front. You can see the difference in the size of the numbering. And then there's the back. Not much difference on the back. And God we trust is here. It's not there. It's about the only thing that I saw. Chuck Wilson, ninety-five dollar. I did. I told her that you guys made me call. <laughs> KW, one hundred dollars. Paul KW got just in ahead of you. <clears throat> KW at $100. Let me uh, write that down, Donald. Um, Ken Anderson, 165.
KW125 on the $2 notes. Hoping I could get the glare off that. Chuck Wilson, 130. Paula Morales, welcome. Monami the seventh, a member, welcome. Oh, Mona, Mo, Mona me. Whew, wow. Took me a second there. Chuck Wilson at 130. Riley Manderscheid, welcome. Big boy, welcome. Yeah, that's for both of them. You got a 63 and a 28F. Small lettering, large lettering. This one says, in God we trust. The older one does not. Other than that, they look virtually identical. Considering this one is... Almost 100 years old. Wow. Lauren Renee Yates, welcome. I figured it was Mona Me after I said it the first time and it didn't sound right. So Chuck Wilson is at 130. Big boy, you know the beat on pick no junk. Lauren, that's okay. I'm running solo tonight, or flying solo. Uh, be stuck in traffic. She'll be here, she says, before the end of the stream. I don't know what that, what time that's going to be. But as long as she gets here, okay. That's all I care. Chuck at 1.30, going once. Big boy, uh, big boy, it's a five dollar increment over a hundred. Chuck at one thirty going once. Chuck at one thirty going twice. Big boy, 135. How did, I, how did I suspect you might do that? Travis, all the stuff that we use is on our website. There's links to all of the coin supplies and everything else. Uh, everything from paper money flips to um, airtight capsules. Um, the vinyl flips like this that are not PVC. Um, and the regular 2 by 2s like this, that you use staples on, the, the flat staple stapler, which is worth the money. It's worth every penny. Um, let's see. A magnifier, 5X Eschenbach is what we use. You can fit a silver dollar in there, and the German optic, it's, it's consistent all the way around. Um, oh, and the, uh, the self-adhesive. Um, are on there too. These are manufactured by a company called Lighthouse. You know, like the lighthouse that is on the beach.
Yeah, Donald PayPal can be a pain in a keister. Victor, welcome. Ricky from Memphis, welcome. Let's see. Big boy at 135, going once. Yeah, B sounded like uh, Scotty from Star Trek when I called her, cause or when she called just now, cause she said, "Well, I'm gonna, I'm getting there as fast as I can, you know." And she was kind of a little ticked with me, and I said, "Well, I'm already on lot number nine, and I think you only have 20 lots." And she goes, "I'll get there before it's, <laughs> I'll get there before it's over. I'm giving her all I can." <laughs> you know? Oh man, Wheat Penny Hunter, welcome. Um, if you get to the t-shirt and the mask, not underneath the stream, if you go to the website and scroll all the way down, you'll get down to, um, all the different things, everything, everything to do with coin roll, uh, coin hunting, coin collecting, basically. We've got the books, we've got all kinds of stuff. Uh, let's see, 135 to big boy going once. Oh, I did that already. 135 to big boy going twice. One thirty-five to big boy for the third and final time. Sold to big boy. One thirty-five. And with your five dollars for your first item, one forty. So, thank you. Alrighty, somebody asked about this one earlier. This is cool because it's in the original packaging, and a lot of us have never seen it this way. We see what's in it all the time. This is how they originally sent out this set. The book, the book was here. The coins were like this. This is the qu the quarter that you guys were asking about. The only forty percent quarter um, ever minted. So here's the the booklet. I mean, talk about pristine, right? got the cardboard in there to protect the coins and the coins have never even been put in that thing Let's see if I can get that out of there. yeah it comes out pretty easy the drummer boy yep only 40% quarter ever minted so there's a couple, there's actually more than just this set, but this is, this is one of the sets. This is probably the nicest set that they put these in. And when I saw this, I was like, holy cow, is that cool? Because we always, we were buying them like this. Didn't know they came with, you know, that kind of packaging. So starting bid, $45. Karen at 45, V Rose came in a little bit like Greg for Greg 50, Amy at a little bit. Okay, V Rose 55. Amy's just behind the curve. Might might have some lag, Amy. V Rose 55. Amy, there you go, 57. V Rose 61.
Karen 65 Amy 67 Vero 71 Karen 75 Thanks, Lauren. Amy, 79. <laughs> V-Rose, is that actually the bid? So Amy topped it at 90. <laughs> I guess it's a moot point, sorry. I know the whole $88 thing. Um, Amy at 90. Karen at 95. Amy at 97. Karen at 98. Chuck pops in at 100. Amy 105. Amy at 105. Chuck at 110. V-Rolls, it's, it's a bicentennial set from the Mint. It's called the United States Bicentennial Silver Proof Set. And most of the time, you would see these uh, as as we've done them in giveaways. Um, you know, all three coins already inserted. Um, these are a little worn out from people popping them in in and out. The cardboard's missing. You know, this may be a little tattered. Uh, you know, when we saw these um, in this configuration, the way they came from the mint, this is how they would ship them to you. We just were like, that's so cool. Riley, no, we're not going to stop the coin roll hunting and just do auctions. Um, we're, we're, uh, you know, we're kind of talking back and forth about um, what you guys seem to like better, or um, you know, how to kind of do the mix, that kind of thing. You know, moving moving Wednesday to Tuesday, doing the auctions on Tuesday instead of the member only Wednesday. You know, so we're just kind of figuring it out. So Karen at 125. Yeah, I think Tiny said goodnight. Karen at 125 going once. Karen at 125, going twice. Karen, third and final call. At 125, sold to Karen.
Okay, as I said, I'm writing the five bucks on these unless I can remember, but if you already purchased something, obviously the five bucks doesn't apply. Okay. It's one $5 shipping charge per night. Per auction, I guess. All right, so what's next? Okay, these. Eighty-one proof and uncirculated set. So you can see the original mint envelope, the original mint packaging. Really nice and clean, not all musty looking or water stained. This has all three of the Susan B's PDNS. So you have you have the three PD and or the three Susan B's, the rest of the coins in there, and then you have the proof set, the S proof, and this would have been clad back in the day. I got a smudge mark there. There we go. All decams. Twenty six dollars starting bid. Friendly travels, thank you, but that would normally be reserved for my bride B. Uh, she's not here yet, she will be soon, and uh, mine are just hairy. J, uh, Jeff Co. Trading, welcome. Metal Dragon, welcome. That's true. The 81 has a Type 1 and Type 2 to look for. <laughs> I'm model isotoners right before Marino. David Patrick, $26. Coin Shield Collectibles, a member, welcome. Charles Long, $35. Scoop, no, the only Morgan that I see is the last one, the last item. She just has the one tonight on the schedule. Paul Orange jumps to 50. Chuck jumps back at 60. Victor, it was pretty good. How was yours? Did you get that video done? Chuck Wilson at 60 for basically all the 1981 coins. <laughs> uh, Lauren, you can do the Zoe fix or you can just um, refresh your screen. One of the two will uh, will get you there. Current bid, Chuck at 60. Chuck at 60 going once. Amanda Amanda Daly, welcome.
Chuck Wilson at 60 going twice. Yeah, I just noticed B has on here a total of four Susan B's because there's that one and then the PD and S. That's the S proof, and these are the PD and S circulated or uncirculated, I guess. Chuck Wilson at 60 for the third and final time. Sold the Chuck for 60 bucks. Oh, very cool. Family birthdays are always fun. Or at least they, they used to be. There's uh I am now the oldest generation. B and I both are now the oldest generation. We have been for a while. Um Kind of, sort of. B has, B, well, yeah, B has been for a few years longer than me, but um, we're both basically, uh, we're both only children, and, and we're both, uh, let's see. Um, oh, Chuck, was this your first one? I thought you had more. Um, let's see. Okay, so did Paul get in before we called sold? Okay. So... Yeah, Victor, no kidding. All right, Chuck, you got it. Sorry, Paul, you must have had a lot of lag on that one. All oh, these... God, I don't even know where she finds these things. All right, so... 1957... Hold it this way so it glares less. 1957, blue seal. Obviously, blue letter. Silver certificate. In God we trust. Crisp, uncirculated condition. And then a 1957 A series. Star note, blue seal. Silver certificate. In uncirculated condition. So, starting bid for both, 30 bucks. Regina Goodwin, a new member. Yay! Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Karen McKenzie, 31. Des Logic, welcome. Lee County Scratcher, welcome. Fred Freer, welcome. Karen at 31. Going once.
Ken Williams, 32. Karen McKenzie, 33. Paul Orr. 40 Victor I tried to find it real quick but I, I can't find it real quick <laughs> I'm flying solo to, so it's I just can't jump back and forth fast enough Paul Orange at 40 Ken at 45 Chad Brookman, welcome. Ken at 45. Uh, Desk Logic, basically, it's $1 bid increments up to 100. No partial, uh, you know, like 50 cents, just $1 increments. At 100 it goes to $5 increments. And you need to pay by the close of the auction tonight. And it's $5 shipping on the first item, but every item after that is included in that $5. I hope that made sense. Um... <laughs> Ken Williams, man, pause back. Uh, Regina, hello, just popping through, giving an update on health, had my benefit, and now off has hospice, back on chemo, had to update my payment. Wow. Um, Ken at 45. Okay, so I'm, I'm seeing Ken at 45, so... Ken at 45 going once. Oh, looks like 290. Could be wrong, but it looks like 290. Ken Williams, 45. Going twice. Ken Williams, $45 for the third and final time. Sold to Ken Williams. Um, Eternal for you, there you can chat you know all you want. It's the exchange of emails that we kind of frown on we've been we've been burned really bad on on that that's why so ken williams i put 45 plus 5 i don't recall whether you had another item or not if you did then it's just 45 if you didn't then it's 50 okay so that was a lot with number 12 already <laughs> yeah paul 
Something like that. Not sold. KW got in there. Okay, 47. 47 to KW. Sorry, I was switching out the stuff that was sold with the stuff that's next up. 47 to KW. Forty eight to Ken. I suppose I ought to refresh my screen screen real quick before calling anything. Yeah, eternal, that's fine. Yeah. Um, KW at 50. Yeah, Riley, I, yeah. I trust you. year or two ago and some of you will remember there was one or two people that were part of a clique that we didn't realize they were systematically going through and getting everybody's email and you know facebook page and all kinds of stuff and then they decided to go on a smear campaign backfired on them thankfully but uh it still was kind of Sad and annoying because we did a lot to help those people. And, uh, um, you know, it's, what can you say? So that's why most rules get created is because somebody becomes a jerk at some point. <laughs> KW, $50, going once. Yeah, Riley, it's okay. It'll usually only allow a moderator to do the actual address. Um, so, um, not sure how you're going to do it on your own. KW bid against himself. Let's see. So, KW and Ken Williams are the same person? I don't think so. I could be wrong. So fifty dollars to Ken KW and forty eight to Ken. So that's what I thought. KW different people. So KW is at fifty. Uh, Lauren, no, second to last item. We're getting close. We're on, uh, we're finishing up item 12 now, so, um, let's see. KW at 50, did I say going once yet? Jeez, I'm getting all twisted around here. 
going twice okay thank you bass man and Heather's chubby hubby so KW at 50 for the third and final call sold the KW for $50 Riley, absolutely. An autograph Ricky car wouldn't help. <laughs> Just kidding. I probably had it back in the day. So 55 to KW, unless you already had another item. Thank you. Okie dokie. Jay, I just got a 1909 VDB for my son. It's not an S, but I think I got a good deal on it. That's cool. That's very cool. And see, that's the key. As long as you feel you got a good deal on something, that's there's there's a lot of people, including dealers, that swear by the gray sheet. And there's nothing wrong with the gray sheet or any of the sheets. The gray sheet is actually probably the most accurate of all the price guides out there other than ours maybe um no it's actually probably a little more accurate than ours because it covers all the coins on a weekly basis but that's the problem is you're covering all the coins on a weekly basis so how exactly accurate are you number one number two that is the wholesale price sold between dealers and not necessarily the retail price okay and even then, it depends on how badly it's at any auction. You could take a car that's worth five grand and put it in a car auction. And if there's two guys that want it really bad because it was what they had for their first car in high school and they got the money, you could see that car go for 10 times that. Or if there's nobody there that likes that car, you could see the car not sell. So, you know. <laughs> All right, Paul, we're working on it. So, all right, so this is a cool one. 69 proof set. There's potential issues on those, but this one's a beauty. So, 69 proof set, nice and shiny. And 69 uncirculated set. Original mint packaging. Philadelphia and Denver. And notice there's no half dollar for the Philly. There are PDNS for the penny. It's the mint, but this one's a 40 percenter. So, what she got on here? $26 starting bid. Uh, Riley, no, it's not an SMS. Those stopped in 80 in 67. David Patrick, 26. Uh, Charles Long, the 69, 40% half dollar. That's here. 
or let me check myself. Nope, take that back. Clad, yeah, it's. I'm looking at the face of it and not at the edge. It, this is the uncirculated set, so this is Philadelphia, not 40%. Excuse me. It would have been if it was. Um, wait a minute, what am I doing? Yeah, it's clad. I can see the clad on it. Sorry, guys, I'm out of my element <laughs> running all this stuff. Um, let's see. So Chuck Wilson's at a hundred bucks on this. Victor, it looks real. I can't tell what country it's from. It looks like a Greek coin with Chinese lettering on it. Amy, you got your VA pension? Congratulations. I'm finally going to contact the VA and see what uncle owes me for all my damage. <laughs> I've had friends picking on me for about five or six years or more um, to go do it. So Chuck Wilson is at $100. $100 going once to Chuck. Oh, no, I didn't realize you couldn't see that half dollar. There it is. Hundred dollars to Chuck going twice. Oh, Paul, we're not gonna be able to do the giveaways till uh, B gets back. So those will probably be at the end of the night. Third and final call to Chuck for a hundred dollars. Sold to Chuck for one hundred dollars. Is a cool one. Whoa. 1983 Error Penny. That is about a 50 or 60% offset strike there on that error. And the cool thing is how crisp the strike itself is, except for right here. So 80, 83, 28 bucks.
V Rose at 28, Riley at 30. Yeah, I guess it kind of does. <laughs> D Castro, 35. Regina, you just reminded me. I gotta do the Zoe fix real quick. V Rose 36. De Castro's 37. V Rose 41. V Rose forty one going once. Um, it looks like it could be a zinc right here where it breaks on the edge. It looks like there could be some some zinc showing through there. It's an 83, so it should be. Yeah, it looks like it's it looks like it's gonna be a zinc. Looking under the magnification, those spots do look like the zinc. Which is again what it should be. Dwayne Duguid Duguid Duguid? I hope I said it right. <laughs> I tried. A new member! Yay! Thank you very much. Yeah, exactly, Riley. If that was a copper 83, that would be worth a buttload of money, especially with an error. Yike. Yeah, that's cool, Victor. That'll work just fine. Lauren, like I, always, like I keep saying, that's the important part. As long as you love it, you know, half the thing about this is, you know, sometimes people will find, we say it in the videos a lot, and I say it in the live streams a lot, sometimes you'll be going through, you know, rolls and rolls of coins, right? Especially new issue. And you go through rolls and rolls of coins. And then finally you find one with an error on it, some die chips, you know, maybe a die crack. And... You know, you look it up or you send it in a Wexler, you get an estimate, that kind of thing. You know, should you get it slabbed? And you find out it's worth maybe 20, 25 bucks tops. Well, it's not worth getting slabbed financially if you were going to sell it. But it's, it's kind of like if you ever got a hole-in-one in golf. You could be hacking it up for 10 years and you get that hole-in-one, <laughs> the hook just gets set again. So you, the fact that you found it makes it kind of irrelevant what it's worth. Unless you start treating it like a business. If you start treating it like a business, it's totally different, you know? So just do what you're enjoying and the naysayers and whatever it might be, whether it's car driving, you know, what you spend on a, on fixing a car up or cleaning a car up or maintaining the car. Why are you keeping that old 20-year-old rail trap? Because <laughs> I like it, you know? 83... D Castro's at 42. Uh, understandable friendly travels. 42 to D Castro going once. Greg, the, the 69 Kennedy from the last item, I believe, was clad, not 40%. Uh, looking, it, it, it should be silver, I would think, but it looked like it had clad layer on the edge. So I'd have to, I'd have to actually check the book. If B was here, she would know. 
And I don't recall ever seeing a 69 clad because, you know, we're only buying 69 silvers, you know. Um, so it was kind of weird. You know, I was looking at them going, that looks clad to me. So I'm going to call it a clad. I'm not going to call it a silver. Um, yeah, exactly, Victor. Um, exactly, Charles. Yeah, we, before we were started doing these, we'd never sold any of the stuff we've collected all these years. So anyway, got to get back to the bids here. 42 D Castro for the second time, I believe. Yep, going twice. Jimmy Lucari, welcome. Yep. <laughs> Hopefully everybody's having as much fun as I am, and uh, and that's the important thing. B's not here. I'm running. I'm running, flying this thing solo. Uh, kind of got it on autopilot, you know. <laughs> so I'm hoping she gets here before the end of the stream uh, to do the the giveaways. Uh, Mona me. That's the thing. I don't know. I don't. I don't think that there's a 69 clad. So. You know, maybe it is a 69.40 percenter. That's what I was thinking, Robert, eh? And then, you know, somebody asked, and I looked at it, and I'm going, oh, I don't know, looking at the set, you know? It was one of those, like, when you're roll hunting and you get that funky-looking edge, you know, it could have been a 40 percenter. It probably is, but I didn't want to say, yeah, absolutely, and then find out it's clad. Now, the thing is, if it is clad, and there's not supposed to be a clad one, then that would be really cool. Um, yeah, that's what I was thinking, Greg, is that it should be 40%. But, you know, I'd rather err on the side of, you know, clad than saying silver and it's clad. You know what I mean? Rather say clad and it's silver. Um, trying my best. Um, and I lost it again. Uh, come on. Come on. D Castro, third and final call. Well stretched out. Sold to D Castro. I even have to go back and look. Forty-two dollars. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, if you already have something, then ignore the five-dollar shipping fee on there. Seventy six proof, uncirculated and uncirculated silver bicentennial sets. So here's the proof. Put that up there. Here's the uncirculated. Am I far enough back? No, heck no. I gotta go way back. Back in the time. Troglodytes. Cavemen. Cave women. Nandertal. So, 76. Bicentennial. P and D. They both look like type 2s, but I could be wrong. So there's two Ikes there. Then we have the silver uncirculated set. And this is what I was talking about. There's another one here that's 40%. Okay. So you have the bicentennial quarter that was silver is, is the only one that was 40%. And there's the proof set. <laughs> got it yeah 
think so. Okay. $66 for the whole thing. Thank you, DeCastro. Yeah, that's what I thought. Malcolm, 65 through 70 is 40%, so that should have been a 40 percenter. So. Well, I'm glad your son did too, Victor. Smart kid. <laughs> David Patrick, $66. Charles Long, 70. Let's see, all this is silver. These are all clad because they're the uncirculated. These are all silver. Oh, Mama's home. And the proof. Good question. Doesn't have the card in it. Can't get that open. I'm not gonna crack the set open. I do not recall off the top of my head whether those two are or are not. Uh, B would know. She'll be up probably in a second. I think she's letting puppy out. Yep. Yeah, you guys heard puppy. You heard, you heard her. So, all right, Ken Williams at 100. Very cool, Victor. <laughs> Good one, V Rose. Yep. Only silver is that set. Sweetie! Hi, everyone! So, good time. Only this is the 40. I mean, only this is the silver, right? These are not silver. These are clad. That's correct. Okay. That's correct. See, I told you she'd know. And V Rose wants to see those nails, Mrs. B. <laughs> Too close. Yeah. Gotta get. <laughs> so, Kenny Williams at 100. I don't know. Oh, cool. Everyone's saying hello. <laughs> hello, hello. Missed you guys. Friendly, yeah, we do. Uh, now that B is back in the house, uh, we'll be able to catch up on the uh, 100 likes giveaway and you know announce that. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't have the ability. I don't know how to run that one and the big computer. So I was, I've been doing this alone on autopilot. <laughs> uh, Coin Silver, oh, take care, Coin Silver. Good night. Thank you very much. Red Devil, I ask myself that every day. I, I don't even want to think about the answer. You know, um, Johnny J from Portugal, welcome. All right, got to get back to this bid. Ken Williams, $100 on all three. Going once. Amy says, Mrs. B, glad you're home safe. We were getting worried. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. That's why they made me call. <laughs> Victor's got a hand being nail polished. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, man. Thank you, DeCastro. Uh, Ken Williams, $100 for all three going twice. I don't know who paid for what, but <laughs> I can just read the payment. 
so people know we're driving. Very cool, Eternal. KW at 105. Wow. Getting ready to call third and final, and he jumps in at 105. So KW at 105. Very cool, Eternal. Which lot are we on? We are on lot 15. Hardcore, welcome. Are you doing it? I'm doing this. I, I don't. Yep, yeah, okay. KW at 105 going once. Riley, you haven't found any 2017 P pennies yet? Sorry, KW. KW105 going twice. Really, Karen? <laughs> wow, Riley. Holy cow. So we got payments from KW? We got payments from KW for two lots. For two lots. From Frank. Martin. From well, I wouldn't give out a name. That's a different name, how It could be. Okay. Okay, so um Oh, it's your sister? <laughs> Then you okay. would know for sure. If somebody's paying, then... KW105 going twice. I need the YouTube's name as well because for Frank, that's all I have. Okay. Um, you didn't have Frank tonight, then we need... I, sweetie, I'm in the middle of closing a bid. Um, KW105, third and final call. Sold to KW. 105. Plus 5 I'm putting down here. So B just gave me a good point. If you have a name like KW, obviously she's going to need to know who KW is when you pay. So she knows that, you know who to send it to. Also when she's announcing who's paid. She's getting ready to announce somebody that's paid and we have their name but not necessarily their um not necessarily their screen name so um, um kw had two other lots so kw had two other lots okay so then it's only 105 i've been saying that all night sweetie that if you have another lot ignore it so okay thank you we'll we'll get into a groove here in a second <laughs> Nineteen twenty four uncirculated Philadelphia Peace Dollar. Beauty. Yeah. Look at the detail on that hair and on her crown. Starting bid fifty bucks.
See the feathers on his wing and his tail? Karen's at 55. And you guys are all over the place. Uh, Michael at 69. <laughs> yeah, Riley's right. The, two, the 2017 was the 225th anniversary of the Philadelphia Mint, so they snuck a P-Mint mark on them that year. They're the only year with the P-Mint mark. Michael at 69, Karen at 75. B wants to know how everybody likes the lots tonight. Glad to hear that, Hardcore. She actually got to laugh the other night in our stream for the first time in a while. So, And she says it felt good. So that's good. Karen McKenzie at 75. Michael comes back at 77. Yeah, she's looking kind of flat laying that way. Let's see. Yep, all payments by the end of the auction, or we will re-auction stuff. Be said as a reminder. Karen at 80. Karen McKenzie. Amy Harrell says, really nice lots and very thoughtful for us collectors. Friendly Travel says, love it. My first time. Crazy Wing Whopper says, would have loved to have been able to bid on the Bicentennials, but not payday yet. <laughs> so enjoyed watching. Um, Charles Long says, first time viewing an auction. That's interesting. Um, Karen McKenzie, $80 going once. Chris, that's a good question. They put the V in trust because back then they would often do that on statues and buildings. It was something that was basically a tribute to the Roman coins. So they used the Roman literal V for you, which used to be used here in the country um, into the 1900s. Karen McKenzie, $80, going twice. 
Michael comes back at 84. Michael Clemmer. Okay. And are you okay with this? He doesn't have any. Sure. Okay. Can you uh, shoot him an email? Uh, Let him know we're going to do that. Okay. Never mind. Uh. KW paid for the last lot. Thank you, KW. KW paid for the last lot. Thank you, KW. Uh, Karen McKenzie, 85. Michael at 86. Brad Carney paid for his lot. Brad Carney paid for his lot. Thank you, Brad. Gray squirrel, will it grayed out, is kind of a, a broad term. Uh, I mean, it's not going to be an MS-70, but it's, it's uh, probably BU, you know, mint state. Yeah, mint state. I'm not sure how high. Um what do you think, sweetie? Do you have any opinion on this one? Which one? The piece? The uncirculated piece dollar? It's really high in my opinion. You yeah, that's I mean it's it there's no question the details there. So the question is how high it grades out. So like min state sixty four, sixty five or higher? Sixty five, I think. Yeah. Yeah, sixty four, sixty five or higher is what we're kind of Concluding between the two of us as you hear us talking through it. Um, Michael Clemmer at 86. Victor, you're going to have to wait till after the stream. She'll take a look at that coin, okay? Oops. What is what is this uh that's okay, why don't you just Yes honey not now, huh? Yes honey. One sixty five it says? Yes, one sixty five. I thought the bidding was done, the bidding wasn't done. Okay. So okay. All right, so. Sorry, honey. Okay. If they put the lot number. They don't know what the lot number is. I wasn't giving them out. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So if you guys could put either like your name, your screen name, the lot number, something like that, or your YouTube name. Um, so B can kind of sort them out because she's coming in at the tail end here. Um, all right. Um, lost it again here. Michael Clemmer, 86, going once. Riley, you have an email, by the way. Um, <laughs> good one, Riley. <laughs> Michael Clemmer at 86, going twice. K 
Karen comes back at 87. I don't know if it's cold by now or if it's still warm, but I made a huge pot of coffee. Oh, but, cool. Yeah. Karen at 87. Final call. Sold to Karen McKenzie for $87. And I believe she already had one tonight. Thank you very much. You're going to love this coin when you get it. Get this in the correct side of the flip. If you guys buy these flips from our site, they're the ones that say BCW, and that's actually the site you're supposed to put the coin in because it'll do that. It'll hold the coin in place as opposed to this side where it'll just slide back and forth. Pretty cool. It's very small detail in their design that's different from everybody else, but makes a big difference on the coins. So, I got to reload. Oh, hang on. Did Michael get the 88 in before, um, before we went sold? No, it's old. I don't see it. Where did it go? It's back there, honey. It's on the table. Or it could be under your thing here. It's not on the table. Oh. Yeah. That's what I'm looking for. Lauren, we're getting real close. It's like uh, three items away. We only have uh, one, two, three, four items left. Unless there's no payments for a couple of the first items, and then we would re-auction them. Um, this one was Chuck. Which Chuck? We have a few Chucks. That was, excuse me, Chuck Wilson, I think. Well, I think it's not good enough. Are you sure? Chuck Wilson got another thing. Right? Yeah, I think that was the only one that was building uh, bidding tonight. Don't worry about it, Victor. Um, somebody did an eighty-eight earlier tonight, and it went and it showed on the chat. So I don't, I don't know. Thank you, Lauren. Appreciate that. Um, I've got somebody way behind, way better than me that's behind me now. So. Back in 68, when I started collecting coins. <laughs> he put 88. Okay. Um, all right. So, um, oh, yeah. So that was the thing. I saw a dollar sign on the, on the 88 earlier. So if you put a, uh, anything, dollar sign, S, um, you know, put a number in, a, a symbol in between them. Um, so that that bid's still active. So which one? The peace dollar. The peace dollar. So the peace dollar is at eighty-eight to um, Michael. Sorry, Karen. I thought we were done. Um,
Um, okay, so what do you guys what? So what what do you guys think in here? Because I'm getting like a mixed bag here in the feed. Um, so did Karen get it for eighty seven, or you know, or do are we continuing the bid at eighty eight? KT Gamer, welcome. Who did? Nathan. Nathan paid for his lot, thank you. Okay. Yep. So then we're going to hold it at 87. Charles. There you go. Chuck Wilson paid for his last Yep. One. Chuck Wilson paid for his. Thank you, Chuck. The first one. Not all the first one. Paid for the first one. Okay. Just want to give an update to people. Like I usually do. All right. So now I got to get uh, the last four batches. Uh, 17. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So we got 1992 and 1993. Close, huh? What? Close. Yeah. Uh, 1992 and 1993 uncirculated PND sets with all the original mint packaging, all the specs. Yeah, and as B just said, the coins and even the mint markers that are copper are just absolutely gorgeous in this set. They're really pristine, like like they just <laughs> better than they were just minted, you know, based on the condition nowadays. Um, so there's 92, and there's 93 P and D, both sets. Gorgeous. Starting bid, 12 bucks. Can't get it any better. <laughs> Paul Bruni says, hello, Mrs. B. Good to know you're home safe. Hello. David Patrick, 15. Gray Squirrel, 25. David Patrick, 26. Paul Orange paid for his two lots. Thank you, Paul. Paul Orange paid for his two lots. I thought he had more than two lots. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I could be wrong. I think so, too. I'm just not really. Yep. Scott and Jennifer Foster, $27. Eternal, you just found a 44D over S penalty, uh, a pen penny. Very cool. A lot of people do that. It's funny. There's a lot of people that listen to the stream while they're hunting through coins, which is, I think it's cool. It's awesome. Gray Squirrel 30. Rally has a point there. Hardcore, you may have been slacking all this time, you know, because you've been using one corner. You actually have as many corners as there are in the room. And it depends on the shape of the room. Might not be square. Yeah, Paul paid for his, his lot. 
Okay, Paul, Paul paid for all his lots. Thank you, Paul. David Patrick, $31. Patty Ferguson, welcome. David Patrick, 31. This is true, hardcore. De Castro paid for his lot. Thank you. De Castro paid for his, their lot. Thank you. David Patrick, 31, going once. I know how you guys love my stories. <laughs> I'll tell you one about being put in the corner. How about being sent to the principal's office in like third grade, something like that? And I went to the principal's office and walked in the door and it was a very, the school was built like 1900. My grandfather went to that school and so did my mom. And then I went to it. That's how old that school was. Um, <laughs> I got sent to the principal's office, which was right across the hall from my class. And I walked to the door and it was these gigantic, thick, old school doors opened the door and as soon as I opened the door I heard a very familiar voice and I looked over the counter and it was the day my mom was volunteering behind the office front desk <laughs> and there was a bench that ran along the right side of the waiting area there and I darted into the corner and sat on the bench you know pressed my back against the back of the hardwood bench only what I didn't remember was my sneakers were sticking out <laughs> Yeah, I got to hear my middle name from the other side of the counter. <laughs> I got busted. <laughs> it's not good being sent to the principal when your mom's sitting there. Oh, man. Uh, let's see. David Patrick, 31, going twice. Very cool, Paul. Third and final call. David Patrick, $31. Exactly, Riley. Sold to David Patrick. 17 $31. I don't know if it's your first one or not. So, 31 and 5. Three lots left. What's really cool about these old sets, when you find these, this is almost a 20-year-old set, right? Reorder form for your 1993 uncirculated coin sets. I wonder if you send that in, whether you'll get them. <laughs> and it's in pristine condition, just like the coins. I just get a kick out of that stuff. AW paid for, or KW or AW? KW. KW. KW just paid for all her lots, okay. I don't have Okay. Um, so I need lot number 18, please, mm -hmm. when you get a chance. Yeah.
Yeah, DeCastro, I had a little shiny spot on that oak bench where I spent a lot of time when I was a little kid. <laughs> Yeah, Riley, with me, it was, if I heard the second name, the middle name, I knew it was, time. it was time. I was done. I was toast. All right. 87, Unk set, PND, and proof set. So there's your 87, PND, Unk, half dollars. The coins are in gorgeous shape. And then here is the 87 proof set. <clears throat> Starting bid, $35. V Rose, forty dollars. Yeah, me too, Riley. See, that was the problem, Scoop. I was an only child, and so was my mom. So, <laughs> so when I was in trouble, the middle name came out. There were a whole lot of uncles and cousins with the same first name. So when the, when the middle name came out, I knew I was in big kimchi. Marion, $41. V-Rose, $42. One of six. Yeah, my dad was one of ten. My great grandma was one of thirteen. Scoop, your mom would go down the line and say your first, your full first name and middle. Yeah, that's when you're screwed. <laughs> Uh, Chuck Wilson bought the 69 Unk and Proof sets, right? Everyone in the does Chuck Wilson or different Chuck? Yeah, is it Chuck Wilson or a different Chuck is what B's trying to find out. Um, let's see. V-Rose at 42. Going once. Chuck's here. I know she's here. That's why. Yeah. Oh, the look. Yes. Seanan Clark, a new J&B member. Yay. Thank, thank you, you very thank much. You. That's like the third one tonight. Cool. Yeah. It's been really cool. A couple people asked, and they I, they were having trouble figuring out how to do it, so I'm not sure if, if they got it or not. Um, Chuck Wilson says yes. Thank you, Chuck. Um, let's see. Where did I go? Where did I go? I think it was 42. V Rose 42 for the third and final time. Sold to V Rose. $42. That's a big price. Plus five. I think that's her first one tonight. Charles Long. It depends on the device you're on. Um, the best one is just go to Super Chat and you under the line. B says the best one is just go to Super Chat and, and select, membership. select membership. Yeah. 
There you go, V Rose. Thank you very much. Now, the much anticipated, the much requested. Many people asked when it was coming. Last one we have for now. Last one we have for now. Modern Hobo Coin. Chuck Wilson paid for his last lot. Thank you, Chuck. You can see that this is not one of the CNC modern ones. This is a modern hobo coin. It's not an original from the 30s. Modern this is someone who picked up the, uh, the skill and learned it. And they carved it in the original technique. So you can, you can see that here with the tool marks. And they left the buffalo in the condition they found it. And they signed the buffalo. The CNC ones, you lose a lot of the, the old lettering. You don't get the tool marks. And they usually wind up doing both sides. And they have a tendency towards the um, zombie theme. You know, the skeletal theme. But this is an actual traditional design that... Bo or Bert, which were the two best guys uh, in that in that field, basically. Bo and Bert could have easily done that nickel, but it's we know it's not because we know it comes from a a modern artist that's doing them, and his his skills are getting better David, and better. David Patrick paid for his lot already. Thank you, David. David Patrick paid for his lot already. Thank you, David. And this is sixteen dollars starting bid. Strife 2009, $16. <laughs> Good one, Riley. Strife is at $16 on the Buffalo Nickel. See how it says Liberty right there by his hat? Yeah, that's where a lot of those guys got inspiration was the old Dagwood comics. They have different versions of this guy. Some of them have a beard. And some of them don't have the hat. Um, and then some of them will have like, uh, uh, dots, like they have a five o'clock shadow, not a beard. Um, there's some that'll have long hair. There's some that'll do an Indian and I'm talking the old school guys. And this guy's actually copying most of those old designs. So, but it's really cool because you can still see Liberty faintly here. And then you see the tool marks here where he cut in and here he cut through the rim um, if it's a CNC on the computer, you're not going to find that. Um, you know, a real one by Bert or Bo in this condition is like $800. It's, there's a couple of them that are up for auction right now that are like $16,000. There's one that's just absolutely crazy money. Um, but this guy's work is really, really good. So... Strife at sixteen dollars going once. Good coffee. Thank you. I made it myself. Yeah. I think so. Unless somebody was here, so mm. 
New dog, Dwayne. There's another, like I said, there's another clue. A lot of the modern artists, they'll carve the back too, and it'll also be like a skeletal bison. But this kid, or person, has put his initials right here in the center of the shoulder of the bison. So on all of his coins, you're going to be able to find his mark right here. Uh, with Bo and Bert, theirs were usually Liberty. They would change it to, you know, Bert. They'd take the Y off. Um, there was one coin, and that's the one that's going for huge money at the auction right now. They, uh, Bert, I think it was, actually put his name and the year, like 1937, I think, right on the front. He actually signed it uh, instead of hiding it. So it's really cool. Uh, Robert A, 21. Oh, man, that had to be painful, Paul. Not quite as bad as being on, uh, like, sticks or uh, like closet rods or something like that or rocks. <laughs> this is an old torture thing that we were taught in survival school. Utah, 25. Hmm. Thank you, baby. Utah, 25. Okay. Uh, also, reminder about addresses. Okay. Utah, 25, going once. And a reminder that we need addresses, screen name, real name, street address, so we can get it to you. Um, whoop, where did it go? How did, it, how did that move? That's weird. There it goes. Yeah, that was what it was, Paul. Split bamboo or um, uh, what we had in South Texas was mesquite branches, which are nasty little buggers. Um, all right, so where are we at here? 25 to Utah. Going twice. Third and final call to Utah for twenty five. Sold to Utah for $25. Oh, I bet, Charles. Bamboo's wicked stuff. There you go. One of the things they told us about was that they would... Uh, and I guess in Singapore, if you remember back a few years, ten, maybe 10 years ago, something like that, there was some punk rich kid that spit on the sidewalk or something and he got caned. Well, they literally mean caned, like bamboo cane. And what they do is they slit it lengthwise. And so it winds up like a cat of nine tails and then they dip it in warm water to make it pliable. And then they hit you with it so you don't just get the one bamboo cane which would be painful enough you get all of those things and they all have sharp edges and everything and yeah 
So, we have one more lot. Possibly more, B said. She's waiting for payments, and uh, and she's back. So, um, let's see. So, the last lot number is this one. Is this one she just handed me? It is. 1921 Morgan. So you can see the detail on that. That sucker's going to grade high. Look at the hair detail. The stars are all crisp. The dental is perfect. You can see her lips perfectly. You can even see like the little indentation that the lips make under the nose. On the reverse side, you can see every feather on his wings, on his chest, on his legs, his tail feathers. Um, you can see the feathers, the fletching on the arrow. This is a beautiful Morgan. 1921 Philly, Scoop at 55. Chuck at 80. Hardcore is handing out quarter detail like Triscuits. That's the hardcore we know. <laughs> Gray Squirrel, $81. More like Skittles. Okay. Charles Long, $85. Tim Roper, no it does not. It's a Philadelphia. Joe 99, uh, Joe 99, yeah, it's at the very least uncirculated. It's probably going to be mid, like 65, 66, maybe better. Mint state. Does the ray go through the end? Uh, can I have the magnifier, please? Thank you, my love. You talking about on the peace dollar? Because I'm looking at this, I don't see one. Alden Davis, welcome. I don't see what you're referring to on the peace dollar. I I know there's rays on that. Scoop. 
scoop at 90. Sure you can, Chuck. I mean, for that matter, you can see the reading, too. <laughs> Victor, we already sold the Peace Dollar. We're selling the Morgan now. So... He might have lag. Chuck Wilson, $100. I'm Gamo. Welcome. I was wondering where you were. We sold an entire bicentennial set of Type 1 and Type 2 Ike dollars a couple hours ago. I was wondering where you were. Scoop at 105. Yeah, the peace dollar is sold. So hopefully we don't have anybody bidding on the peace dollar. We're bidding on the Morgan dollar. Scoop at 105 going once. Tim, yeah, absolutely. You can check out our videos on those. You'll you'll see what the actual selling prices uh, are recently at recent auction for um uh, each individual grade that went to auction recently. Scoop going once. One oh five to scoop going twice. Third and final call to scoop. At 105. Sold the scoop. 105. Utah Scott paid for his lot. Thank you, Utah. No. Uh, Utah Scott paid for his lot. Thank you, Utah. No. Uh, like I mentioned, there are two people who haven't paid. I'm going to give them some time to pay. Uh, Let me see the names. And then we're going to have to re-auction the stuff. Yeah, I got a feeling that uh, that one might have been bogus. That one, I'm not sure. Well, I don't know, but... Uh, so, the two names are, if you are still in the stream, please pay a few minutes. If you're still in the screen, stream, Jonathan Dusty, you have not paid for your Susan B. set. And Ken. Ken Anderson, if you're still in the stream, the 1842 half dime, you have not paid for. Okay, for the meantime, we can, we can auction one more time. We can auction one more thing in the meantime, yeah. and we have uh, we have a giveaway to do for a hundred too. If somebody would like crisp on circulate. Yep. So B says if somebody would like in the meantime a crisp uncirculated. I need to back up a little bit. 
1963 Red Seal five dollar bill US note Red Seal crisp condition not a fold crease nothing this is like brand new issue just cut off the sheet 25 bucks 25 bucks she says That thing's older than you. Timothy Dake, 30 bucks. Ship be welcome. Robert at 40. Tim Dake, 42. Oh, Vito's gonna take Who? Vito's. Oh. Unless I messed up the name. Sorry, Hardcore. <laughs> I was smacking in the microphone. Yeah, I know. Robert Thompson, 45. Thank you to everybody that's sending addresses right away, B says. Scoop paid for her lot. Scoop paid for her lot. Thank you, Scoop. Yeah, hardcore. I would I would have heard that when I was a kid too. Forty-five to Robert Thompson going once. Yeah, Ken A didn't think he won that halftime. Um, I think there's a note on the piece of paper that somebody Donald yeah Donald Carter withdrew his his bid because he said he was having problems with PayPal and to give it to Ken who had the next lowest bid okay. so maybe Ken know about yeah Ken Ken probably doesn't know about it Okay, so she says we're going to re-auction that one. Um, Victor, no. We have, I haven't had a chance to look at any kind of emails at all today. Um, Uh, I'm Gamo. She was here, but she had to leave early. I think everything was okay, but I think she was going out of town. Robert Thompson, 45, going twice. Robert Thompson for the third and final call, forty-five dollars. Sold to Robert Thompson. So forty-five plus five, unless you already had another item, which I don't recall. Thank you, Robert. So there's that. Mm -hmm. So then we got the Susan B's to re-auction. Yes. 
Okay. Oh my, poor baby. Okay. Yeah, I remember that guy, Victor. Um, he made his living by doing uh, drawings of real bills. And he made them a slightly different size from the real bills so that he wouldn't be charged with counterfeiting. And it was, he sold each of those bills as art. So Susan B's Jeff Hammond is going to go on a blacklist. He cannot date anymore. What? Yeah. Oh. I have okay, sorry. Yeah. So Jonathan is going on the uh, naughty list. He won't be able to bid on items anymore because he didn't pay. Um... So there's the PDNS set. The starting bid was $15, and I have a note on the back. Amy Harrell was at 21 That's who was, I think, the winning bid at that point with, without that guy. So we're rebidding at $15 starting bid. Amy, you get another shot at him. Actually lifting the coins, the camera has a harder time. Because of the autofocus. Okay. Amy at 21. <laughs> That's where she was before. Chuck at 25. Ouch. Amy at 27. V Rose paid for his lot. Thank you, V Rose. V Rose paid for his lot. Thank you, V Rose. Amy Harrell holding strong at 27. Robert, no, none of them are silver. Amy Harrell, 27, going once. Amy Harrell, 27, going twice. Third and final call, Amy Harrell, $27. Sold for $27, and I don't remember whether you had another item or not. So it'd be 27 plus 5, 32. Okay. Congratulations, Amy. Thank you. Congratulations, Amy. You got it on the second shot. Oh, this beautiful. Oh, this beautiful baby. Oh, that one. Yeah, everybody was having a hard time seeing it. Because it's super dark. Yeah, I know. Maybe. Ken Anderson was the second. Don Carter pulled his bid because he said a PayPal. Ken Anderson was second. I didn't have anybody after that. Should I take it out of this? Because I noticed if I pushed on it, it was more visible. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, all right. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this out. Are you in blocks or are you good? Um, I think I'll be okay. Um, Amy paid for her lot. Thank you, Amy. So here's the 1842 half dime coming out. I can have, yeah, put me, you want to give me a black glove? Yeah, that's fine. I don't like that. Yeah, that's fine. 
I'm touching it with my fingernails. So that's the seated position, correct orientation. I don't know if you can see how well you can see it. She's going to give me a, a, a glove that I can put on. So starting bid on this was, I don't know, she took the thing. There it is. Ugh. Huh? Okay, whatever you guys want to start at. That's fine. That's fine. Utah Scott says, do you still have my info or do I need to send it in again? For she still has it. Thanks for asking, though. Okay, white glove time. Yeah. It's a slippery little booger. And it's tiny. Puppy, nobody's going to kill you or take your food. No, I can't see anything. That's what I mean, see? Now you can kind of. Yeah. See, I don't know if I can. If I zoom back, we can see if it'll. Eighteen forty two half time. Trying to show detail on the reverse and there's not enough light there. Robert is at forty five. See if I can throw some light on it. No, no. That, that was not the worst. It's always this. Robert Thompson's up at 80. Yeah, Kevin, people were guessing earlier the first time through that this was an MS quality coin. They just couldn't see it real well through the plastic in this slab. So... Flag City Parts, welcome. Robert Thompson, $90. Yes, it is, sweetheart. It's maybe not. Yeah. Okay. Looks like all good. Let's check what they left. Nope. Something is wrong. Robert Thompson, $95. Ken Williams, 110 
can't see it. Okay. How are we doing on lights? 183. Come on, people. Close, close, close. Robert Thompson, 130. To 200. Austin, welcome. Utah, 140. Austin, I'm not sure who put you in timeout. Would have been one of the mods. It wasn't me. Robert Thompson, let's see. Robert Thompson, Utah's at 140. He got there before Robert. Kevin, hard to say. Um, everybody first time around was saying Mint State, but you know we couldn't really get a good look through the plastic um, on these older coins. You know it's it's really hard to say. Um, you know, as somebody pointed out the first time around, you're talking about a coin that's almost 200 years old. They grade differently than the new ones. Robert Thompson, 155. Scoop, good night. Thank you. We're going to do the giveaway here in a second. Two of them. Maybe three. Two of them. Maybe three. 16 away from 200. Utah is at 175. Eighteen ninety four, Gray Squirrel. Utah at one seventy five. Going once. Utah at 175. Going twice. Robert bids $1,842. Oh, Third and final call for Utah at 175. Sold Utah for 175. Okay. Now I'm going to make a quick point. There was a past man, I think, that I said that. Make sure I like that because we all have different black and same with even mods. So we're going to put sold when it's sold. And yeah. The day after that, it's, it doesn't count. Yeah, we've been doing that all night, no, honey. We're not doing it. We. Not mods. Final call. That's his idea, and I like it. Because it's not different. Okay. So, anyway, next time we're going to. Yeah, anyway, next time. Yep. There you go, honey. Okay. So, thank you, Utah. Thank you, Utah. How much was the final? 175? Um, yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
Robert Thompson says, if they don't pay, let me know. Okay, Robert. Uh, I think Utah. So now, giveaway time. We've got two to do. There's 16 away from 200, which should be a third one. Um, so depending on how long it takes to do the two giveaways. Um, Mm -hmm. Okay. There it is. All right. Hundred likes giveaway. Hundred likes giveaway. Come. Sorry. Okay, two beautiful hunks of copper, JFK 64, Benji 48 to 63, both tribute coins obviously, two beautiful hunks of copper from us of course. Utah Scott paid for his half dime. Thank you, Utah. And everybody refresh your screen because we're about to do our giveaway. Giveaways. Whoa. What happened to my screen? Disaster. Okay, okay. 24 people comments. 144 comments. Good luck. Robert, we we just get a lot of this stuff just for you, you know, for all y'all and we just don't look at it. Hardcore copper. I like the mint sets. I'm not sure if hardcore copper's here or if she's presently in a corner somewhere um or placing someone in a corner. So, hardcore, you're on the timer. Carrie, welcome. Garrett, welcome. Hardcore, you still here? I hope she didn't just leave. There she is. Yay. Yay. Congrats. 64 and a six, 48 to 63 Benji tributes to copper ounce. Shiny, shiny. Okay. All righty. Yeah, copper wins the copper. There you yeah, go. <laughs> we're still at 183 on likes. I think we're going the wrong way. Yep. End of the stream giveaway. End of the stream giveaway. Ooh, drooling ensues. 1937 and 1945D. 37 is Philadelphia. They're both AU. Good luck, everybody. Okay, the winner is... Seeking Lava. Seeking Lava, are you here? Seeking Lava is here. Ben, that was quick. Uh -huh. Woohoo! 37 Merc, 45D Merc, both AU. Congrats. Okay. We didn't get to 200. We didn't get to 200. We got to 188. What? 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 Nothing. Okay. Okay, so thank you to everybody for coming, and uh, hopefully everybody had a great time and enjoyed what they got, or enjoyed just you know being part of it. So 
long as everybody had a good time, nobody got any hurt feelings, that is the important thing. Thank you, Mods, for helping. V Rose says, do another, Jay. Yep, we will. So uh, thank you for the input because we definitely need that. Um, and good night. Sweet dreams, everybody. Be safe. And good to see you again, Hardcore. Good night.